Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. Hello third graders and welcome to McCarthy Math FSA Boot Camp. This is video number two. Okay, if you have the worksheet that you need for today, which you can actually find in the description box below, there's a link there to get you the worksheet that you need. If you have that worksheet, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and pause the video and go through the problems, trying to solve them on your own, okay? And then you're gonna come back and join me and we'll go through it together. If you do not have this already printed out, like I said, there is a link in the description box below. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and come back when you're ready to check your work. All right, welcome back. So, I'm really excited today. I hope that you went ahead and wrote your name here. It says, my name is blank. Don't write blank, write your name. And I am ready to throw down my best, that's right. And I, we have video two, and I wrote down unit four right there. There's a reason why I wrote it down, because I'm gonna kind of point you in the right direction if you need some more practice with this skill, okay? So let's take a look at number one. There's a lot of words in number one, oh my goodness. Let's do it. So we have a select all. That means we are going to check all of them. We're gonna go through all of them and see. Select all the situations, that's what's down here, that can be represented by 40 divided by eight. For 40 divided by eight, 40 represents the total and we're dividing it by eight, either eight groups or eight things in each group. So 40 would be the total, then we're splitting it into eight of something. Diego, go Diego, go. Did you guys used to watch that? I love that show. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're like, what is she talking about? Diego has $40, that is nice, Diego, has $40 and gives eight dollars to his sister okay means he has forty dollars okay and he's taking a little chunk away he's taking eight dollars and giving it to his sister so what operation is that is it division no it's subtraction right okay so here would be forty dollars minus eight that he gives to his sister for a sorry this is wiggling so much okay um, because of that, we can go ahead and eliminate choice A. Again, do not eliminate on the A. Go all the way to the end and eliminate right there, okay? Next one. I love these kind of questions, by the way. Um, <laughs> Diego has $40 and earns another $8. So let's talk about that. He has $40 and he earns $8. 
he's joining the 8 to his 40. So which operation is that? Yeah, we're adding here. He has 40 plus the 8, and then he has 48 total. So 40 plus 8. Is that the same as 40 divided by 8? No, they kind of look similar, don't they? But we know that division means we're separating them into equal groups. So we do not, that is not going to work. That's not one of the choices. Okay. C. Diego has $40 and spends $8 on ice cream. So he has $40 and he uses some of it to buy ice cream. So is he still going to have 40? Is he separating it? $8, $8, $8? No, he's just doing it one time, right? So what operation is that? Subtraction. He has the $40 and he's giving away eight of his dollars for ice cream, which that's some expensive, fancy ice cream there for $8. My goodness. Okay. So is choice C <laughs> correct? Nope, let's eliminate. All right, now we have choice D. Diego has $40 again, earning the same amount. So he's earning the same amount each day for eight days. So if this is day one, he earns some money. He earns some money for day two. He earns some money for day three, all the way for eight days. So $40 in eight days days are we separating the money out into days yeah so which operation is this if we're separating it into equal days it is division so we're going to do 40 divided by 8 there and now i'm going to put a question mark there okay i'm going to bubble it in in just a second don't you worry diego has 40 dollars this should say dollars sorry about that 40 dollars whoopsies i'll fix that for yours before you see it Diego has $40 after earning $8 each day. So each day he earns $8 until he gets to 40, right? So if he has $40 and he's earning $8, $8, $8, $8. So that would be division. He has $40 that we're dividing out into $8 each day. So we're gonna go ahead and mark D and E, both of them, um, which means these are, and it said select all there. We should have actually done this down here, the question type. What kind of question is this? What do you think? It's kind of like a multiple choice, but it has more than one answer. So it's called a multi-select. And just for kicks and giggles, we didn't even have to figure out what 40 divided by eight was, but I'm gonna use the multiplication mashup, which I will link in the description box below. The multiplication mashup, counting by eights until I get to 40 to figure out what the quotient is. Party rocking with the eights for sure. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, five. 40 divided by eight equals five. That was just a little bonus for you. Okay, let's look at number two. We're gonna go ahead and jot down the question type right here. This is called an editing task question. You're going to get real good at the different types of questions that we have. Sorry, my table is shaking so much. Okay, this says, Sinead writes the equation on a whiteboard. An equation has an equal sign in it. She writes 54 divided by 6 to equal something. Let's go ahead and read right here. It says, complete the statements, the statements are down here to show how Sinead can use equivalent. You know what equivalent means? It means equal, okay? Equal equations to determine the missing value, all right? Remember that you can pause the video at any time if you need to catch up with me and what I'm writing, okay? So we're gonna use equivalent equations. And I think I know about equivalent equations because I know that multiplication and division are inverse operations, right? They, they, we can make them equivalent. For each box, fill in the bubble before the choice that is correct. All right, so let's go through it. One way that Sinead can rewrite the equation is 54 divided by something equals six, 
46 divided by something equals 54. So which one do you think would be a way that she could rewrite it? Yeah, it actually would be A. Let's talk about why we can eliminate B first. B, this is saying, oh, up here it's saying the total, this is our total, it's called the dividend. This is the other thing that we know and we're trying to figure out the quotient, okay? The total divided by six equals our answer or a quotient of something. But what we could do is flip these two around. We could do 54 divided by what to equal six. Either way, it would be equivalent. So in part B though, we were talking about why we can eliminate part, why we can eliminate choice B. And that is because six is not the total that we're dividing. We're not taking six and dividing it by something. If we have six of something and we divide it by something to equal 54, no, okay? Our total here is 54 divided by, and then they've just switched these around. That's what Sinead has done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pick A. Another way that Sinead can rewrite the equation is six times 54 equals blank, or blank times six equals 54. You know what, let's go ahead and just jot down all of the fact families here. So we got 54 divided by six equals blank, that was the one that they gave us up here. And then if we flip those around, that would be 54 divided by blank equals six, good. And we also have a, two multiplication families we can put there. So let's try six. Six times blank equals 54, good. Or flip flop these two factors and we have blank times six equals 54. That's our fact family there. Okay, I am gonna point you in the right direction. That's what the, at the top I had you write down unit four. If you're like, what in the world is she doing here? I don't understand. I've got tons of videos to help you out. Okay, I'm gonna send you off with some more help, I promise you. Do you see anything that says six times 54 down here? No, right? That is not a correct equivalent equation. We're so fancy with these words. Here we have blank times six equals 54. And I see that for our very last one, blank times six equals 54. So yes to B, yes. And finally, it says the missing value of Sinead's original equation is, so the missing value, that's this box right here, right? The unknown, what is the missing value? Well, we could draw it out, do, I'm actually gonna do that. So six groups, five and six. And we are going to distribute one tally into each of the six groups until we get to 54, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna pause for a second, I know I'm on eight. And I want you to see how organized this is. It's not gonna be messy, watch how I do it. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now I'm gonna slash for the five. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, 1, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, we're so close, 54. Okay, so how many are in each circle? Yeah, we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine would be our missing value up there. Nine would go into all of these boxes right here. And nine is our answer choice, indeed. Hey, let me throw something else at you though, because you know I'm gonna put that multiplication mashup in the description box below. And I'm gonna count by sixes using the six song until I get to 54 to show you another way, a faster way to get nine. Ready? Hey, sixes, I just met ya. You're kinda crazy. Six, 12, and 18, 24 and 30, 36 and 40, two and 48, 54, 54, which got, which was nine 
fingers if you see. And that is it for today with the FSA practice, okay? If you understood and you got it right and you, you understood what was going on here, awesome. If you know that you need a little more practice though, I want you to listen up, okay? Even if you felt like you had it, but you want some extra practice, listen up. So I'm gonna send, I'm gonna put three links. The first link is the multiplication mashup in the description box below. Click on that, practice it, it'll get you super fast with your multiplication facts. Number two is the how to pass the math FSA video that has questions like what you just solved. The only thing is the how to pass the math FSA series. I built that a few years ago and things have changed a little bit with the test. Still great problems, still great practice, but what we're doing here matches the style of questions that are gonna be on that test. Still great practice though. Finally, I really encourage you to take a look at McCarthy Math 155. This, this I have so many schools and so many teachers and students watching and learning from these videos. They are a game changer. In your if you need some extra practice with division, which was what this was, what the skill was, I want you to take a look at the link below for McCarthy Math 155. You're gonna go to unit four. Try it out for seven days for free. If it's something that you know would help you, you can purchase a monthly subscription, you can buy an annual subscription, your teacher could purchase it and then share the videos with their students. All right guys, I am super excited to see you in video number three. Woo, we're on a roll and a great job today. Keep on working hard and I will see you on video number three. Bye.